Hey guys, Metacosis Perfectionalis is here today. Let's quickly review the topic of Hodgkin's lymphoma. I've talked about it in many videos, but if you don't have time, this video is enough for you. Plus, watch my video on the case on Hodgkin's lymphoma. I'll leave the link in the description. As you know, lymphoma is divided into Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Hodgkin's is less common than non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Hodgkin's is local. It spreads locally through contagious spread. It has the reed sternberg cell. Hodgkin's constitutes 40% of adult lymphoma, commoner in males, except nodular sclerosing subtype, which is common in females. More common in Caucasians, there is bimodal age distribution. Patient is usually younger than non-Hodgkin's lymphoma counterparts. HIV patients are at higher risk. There is a defect in cell-mediated immunity. Hodgkin's is also associated with Epstein-Barr virus. Also non-Hodgkin's was associated with Epstein-Barr. So Epstein-Barr is associated with both Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin, such as Burkitt's lymphoma. Contagious spread, contrast that with non-Hodgkin's, there is extra nodal spread. Hodgkin's lymphoma is a lymphoma, so there is lymphadenopathy, which is localized but painless. Infection is painful, cancer is painless. We classify Hodgkin's lymphoma into nodular lymphocyte predominance and classic Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is more common. This one is further subdivided into four subtypes. Nodular sclerosis, commoner in females, lymphocyte rich, mixed cellularity, and lymphocyte depleted. Pathogenesis, we have nuclear factor kappa light chain, transcription factor. EBV will cause activation, so we will turn the switch to on. Genes that promote proliferation are now on. Proliferation, 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 cancer. Let's talk about lymphadenopathy and Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's localized, it's painless, there is contagious spread. Usually starts in the cervical lymph node. Also, supraclavicular and mediastinal can be involved. Core needle biopsy or excisional biopsy is needed to get a biopsy to examine this lymph node. On gross examination, there is bulging of the lymph node. It's called the fish flesh appearance, very rubbery in consistency. Microscopic read Sternberg cell, which is CD15 positive and CD30 positive. Clinically speaking, we have lymphadenopathy, splenomegaly. Hodgkin's can have nephrotic syndrome, probably minimal change disease. There is fever and there is itching. Hodgkin's is a disease of the young. Could be obstructive jaundice, yep, because sometimes there are lymph nodes at the porta hepatis causing obstruction. Skin involvement can lead to erythema nodosum. Could be autoimmune hemolytic anemia, as I've told you before when we have discussed this topic. Paraneoplastic cerebellar degeneration and pain in the lymph nodes on alcohol consumption, a very specific sign. You drink alcohol, your lymph nodes start to hurt. How to diagnose Hodgkin's? You need a complete blood count. You'll find neutrophilia and eosinophilia. Sometimes you have anemia, which is normocytic, normochromic anemia. If you have anemia or lymphopenia, Hodgkin's has a poor prognosis. High LDH carries poor prognosis. On chest x-ray, you'll find mediastinal mass. On CT scan, use it for staging, you can find bulky lymph nodal involvement and bulky, anything bulky has poor prognosis. Reed Sternberg cell, they are large, malignant lymphoid cells of B cell origin. They have two nuclei containing a prominent eosinophilic nucleolus. So each nuclei, each nucleus has prominent nucleolus and with the specific all eye appearance. The Ann Arbor classification of Hodgkin's single site is stage 1. Two or more lymph nodes on the same side of the diaphragm, this is stage 2. Lymph nodes on both sides of the diaphragm, this is stage 3. 
Stage 4, the diffuse or the disseminated subtype, you have one or more extra lymphatic tissue which by that I mean extra nodal, something other than the lymph node, could be like liver or something. Then each stage could be A or B. A if there is no B symptoms, or B if there are B symptoms such as fever, sweats, and weight loss. How to treat Hodgkin's ABVD, adriamycin, bleomycin, vinblast, and carbazine. Stage 1 or 2, 2 to 4 cycles of chemo plus radiation. Stage 3 or 4, B cell symptoms, bulky sites, 6 to 8 cycles plus radiation only to the bulky sites. Relapsed or refractory disease, autologous hematopoietic stem cell transplant. If relapsed after chemo or transplant, try using brintuximab, which is a monoclonal antibody against CD30. And as you know, Hodgkin's lymphoma has the Reed Sternberg cell, which is both CD15 positive and CD30 positive. So that's a good target. You should check renal function before giving chemo. Radiation used to treat Hodgkin's has many side effects such as non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, hypothyroidism, so please order a thyroid panel, this is very important, solid tumors in the chest such as lung cancer in smokers, breast cancers in females, so start annual mammography 8 to 10 years after treatment or at age 40 whichever is earlier. Cardiovascular complications such as coronary disease or cardiomyopathy or whatever. Side effects of chemotherapy. Bleomycin can lead to pulmonary fibrosis. Adriamycin can lead to cardiotoxicity, specifically cardiomyopathy. The Reed Sternberg cell, again derived from B cell. B cells didn't undergo hypermutation. Immune histochemistry, CD15 positive and CD30 positive. Here is the famous all eye appearance. Quick comparison between Hodgkin's and non Hodgkin's. Here we have adenopathy, here adenopathy and extra nodal. Contagious spread, no contagious spread. Usually no hepatosplenomegaly, no leukemic phase. Hepatosplenomegaly and leukemic phase are more common. Reed Sternberg cell, no such thing. Hodgkin's, young adults, non Hodgkin's, mid 50s. Both of them, males more than females. Hodgkin's has a better prognosis. Hodgkin's is more curable than non-Hodgkin's. Hodgkin's is treated with ABVD chemotherapy, non-Hodgkin's with CHOP. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to watch the video on the case of Hodgkin's lymphoma. And this is Medicos Perfectionals. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard.